Reports have surfaced saying that TSMC is planning to establish an advanced chip manufacturing plant in Taoyuan, specializing in one nanometer processes. Analysts say the plant would attract top semiconductor professionals to the area, but add that production may not start until 2027. The Taoyuan mayor and several lawmakers, past and present, say plans to continue expanding the semiconductor industry in Taoyuan have been in the works for several years. It's gains across the board, allowing investors to breathe a sign of relief for now. With U.S. stocks recovering and the local elections right around the corner, Taiwan shares closed up 161 points on Monday. TSMC shares closed up 390 NT amid reports that the company is going to set up a one nanometer chip fab in Taoyuan's Longtan district. Analysts say the fab would attract many professionals to the area. It can attract leading tech talent from around Taiwan to Taoyuan, but it won't be until 2027 that TSMC can truly launch mass production of one nanometer chips. TSMC is actively working on developing advanced manufacturing processes, and its progress toward one nanometer chip production have caught public attention. The firm has said it will take many factors into consideration when establishing a fab, adding that it will continue communicating with investors and be open to any possibility. Taoyuan Mayor Zheng Wenchan and the DPP's mayoral candidate for Taoyuan, Zheng Yunpeng, are reportedly some of the key figures pushing for TSMC to set its one nanometer base in Taoyuan. If you all remember, I had a policy before where I hoped to establish a semiconductor institute in Taoyuan. So we welcome big semiconductor companies to invest in building plants in Taoyuan. I would like to thank lawmakers Zheng Yunpeng, Tang Huizhen, and Huang Shijie. They all deeply care for this issue, and discussions on the plan have gone on for three years already. The Taoyuan mayor said discussions between the central and local government to expand the semiconductor industry in Taoyuan had started several years ago. He added that he hoped the policies would help the semiconductor industry further develop in northern Taiwan.